Now, the other question then is, well, because in every plant that, that harvests meat and fabricates meat, they slice it open for the first time, they seed the deoxymyoglobin, the purple-red color, and then it turns bright red, and then how does it go back to the purple-red color? And that is the next series of interactions, the color chemistry, that are extremely important because the, the purple-red color deoxy has no oxygen bound to the myoglobin molecule. Myoglobin is the red-colored substance in meat. And when it blooms, it turns bright red, just like Mother Nature made it to do. And then it gives up that oxygen to the components that generate energy inside of a muscle cell. Once the oxygen blooms, and there's about, and at sea level, there's about 20, 21% oxygen in the air. When that is reduced down to about 1 to 3%, it turns brown all by itself. Most people probably in the meat industry have seen that. If, they, if they've made some hamburger patties, you make the patties, stack one on top of the other, another on the other, put it, put it back in the refrigerator, and then when it comes time to put it on the grill, they come back and they take them apart. And, Whoa, that's brown. How did it get to be brown? Well, Mother Nature equipped that muscle chemistry to metabolize some of the oxygen, and when it gets down to a low percent, it turns brown all by itself. That's the easy part. That's a, that, that's, that happens no matter what we do. The question then becomes, because that brown pigment is called met myoglobin. The difference between met, major difference between met myoglobin and oxy and deoxymyoglobin is that the iron that's in the myoglobin molecule can be reduced, the two good guys, versus the bad guy, Met myoglobin is an oxidized. So I think people need to understand if they're going to do try to solve problems with color is that they know need to know the difference between oxygenation and oxidation. So it oxidizes the iron changes from a plus two to a plus three. I lost one electron. And to get that electron back into the myoglobin molecules, we have to reduce the met myoglobin. The chemistry is there is called met myoglobin reducing activity. And the other thing that you must do is take the oxygen down from about 1% to 3% down to essentially zero. That's less oxygen than the amount of oxygen that's in the atmosphere on top of Mount Everest. That is not easy to do, but muscle can do it easily if you have the right series of reactions and factors affecting it. And so if they fabricate the meat the first time and then put it in a vacuum package, suck all the air out of it, form a vacuum seal, and as long as it's not a leaker, it will, and if the temperature is right, it will go from purple to bright red to brown, and back to purple. That is the key that we everyone needs to know to be able to try to control meat color problems.